Hey folks, Little John. I'm doing the uh, first part of the uh, great nine rum tasting experiment. Um, now, I've just sat down and I've mixed up uh, a bunch of rums here and I've drunk a heap and done some beautiful, wonderful tasting notes and gave my impressions. Uh, it's just taken far too bloody long. No one's going to want to sit there and watch the amount of time it took. So, um, I'm going to do this very quickly wrap up. I've tried all this. So, what I've got here in front of me are the four bottles of the molasses wash, which I cut to 40% and then mixed with the top shelf essence rums. Um, four rums, Aussie gold, sorry, Aussie gold, well, Aussie red, the Jamaican gold, dark rum and the spiced rum, mixed up with a little bit of, um, bit of sugar as per instructions. These are the top shelf still spirits range. Uh, like so, um, I've mixed up 400 ml of each, mixed as per instructions. Little jar on the end here with the same base spirit that these come from, but um, uncut, 53%. Uh, and it's just been out on some used bourbon dominoes. Uh, sat there for about two weeks on those, and then was then it was filtered, so it's sitting at 53%, so it's overproof, not quite barrel strength. Uh, now, what I've, what I've found quite clear in these is that the essences, although providing a reasonable knockoff attempt replication of a rum, on a whole are just far too sweet and one dimensional um, for anyone to really take seriously. Uh, I've tried them straight, I've tried them and I've now got them mixed up with, with some coke um, that probably a bit stronger than say you know than a than a pub serve. Uh, and yeah it's just main, it's just a lot of sweetness coming through but no real character this fella the rum on the bourbon oak straight spirit it's got plenty of character it's got the right notes it's got you can taste molasses and dark sugars and caramels and a little bit of sweetness it's got some bite and some bitterness as, as well a little bit of smoke um, it's really very, it's very nice. It's got some complexity and character um, that these essences don't have. Um, and I really think, like, like I said, these spirits, are made, but they're made from a molasses wash that's carried over the molasses flavour. Um, it was evident in the in the clear spirit. Uh, so. If you're mixing this onto a neutral spirit, say that you'd be running for a reflux, you know, say a you know a tomato paste wash or a um, you know what if just a straight sugar wash, I think the problem would be even worse. Um, at least these have got some molasses character to start with, um, and even so, it's still not showing. So that fell the straight spirit in this five bottles. It's a clear winner. Clearly, a far better, a far better deal. And I mean that is to be expected. It's real. This is, you know, to some degree fake. It's not completely fake because there is a base rum spirit there. That's just not finished. Um, we've used the essences to give the to give a bit more of the flavour. Um, now, I will be testing, I will make up a batch, I've got some neutral spirit there which I made on my last batch which was a TPW, was well, a tomato paste wash, it's very clean neutral and I will make mix up some of that with the same essences for the next testing day uh, which will happen in the next few days and will be added. Um, so when you're watching this video we'll actually just continue on. Uh, so. And see how much what difference that makes, whether the essences then cut back a little bit on their 
on the sweetness when they've got a clean base to work from. Um, but at the moment, that clean molasses wash on a bourbon oak age is leading the way. So I'll wrap this up for, for, for the moment. Um, and I'll, you'll, you'll see me shortly and I'll be doing the um, the next batch and I'll explain what, um, how that was all handled when we get there. Right, our folks. Uh, it's now the next day, and I'm going to continue on with the uh, remainder of the, uh, the tastings. Risky rocks. Risky rocks. If you don't them properly, they want to stick together. That's not it. Okay, so we've done the uh, essences. Now, what I've got here um, is the four jars with cups that I took during the original run. Um, now, this is second, third, fourth, and fifth jar off the run. So I took four shots, then took off, uh, oh, I can't, can't put the top of my head how much heads I took. I'll have it here somewhere. I took no, 200 heads. And it's about 160 of uh, four shots. So I took three hundred of the first three, and the fifth jar I took four hundred mil. Um, and as I was going for the run, if you go back and watch the watch the actual run, um, at each cut I was bringing the power up on the um, controller a little bit and just bringing the column temperature up, uh, and was just to see what um, difference that would make to the overall flavours. Um, so, an amount of these has gone of each of these jars has gone into the big mix, which ended up becoming part of the um, what was cut with the essences. Now, so each of these jars was 200 mil to start with and it's been cut back uh, to 40% um, and they've all been sitting on the, um, the Wendy's oak chips. Uh, Let's grab them back out. I'm not sure that I got them on the video yesterday. I did have them, but then we'll have to mark it around. I think they are on the um, on the cut video, but kiss these fellas. Uh, you can see them there. Still master Windy's Rum Barrel Oak. So. Uh, they're just a, they're a fine chip. I prefer not to, just really don't like using chips, but it was, at the time when I was getting it, was the only thing I could easily find that was exactly, was actual rum chips off rum barrels. Um, so, went with those. Each jar got uh, three grams of the chips. So it was basically um, the equivalent of getting 15, uh, 15 grams per per litre, so and it sat for about two weeks um, for, for the 29th. It was actually 17 days. No, 16 days. 
um, then was filtered and cut back to the 40 per cent. So these are pure rum, molasses wash, oat at distilling strength. So the first jar he come off at uh, it was cool at the start of the run. Uh, it come off at 75 percent. Second jar, like I said was up a little bit. He come off at 70 percent. Third filler here, 66 percent. Uh, I don't know if there's a grease there, I'd have to go back to the video to actually see what they were. And the last fella, which came up at 62%. Uh, now this was, by my approximation, pretty much the end of hearts and starting to work towards tails a little bit. Um, I took another 1.3 litres off the batch after this lot. Um, so, but that's them. So this is, for all intents and purposes, just real rum. Slight interruption there. Anyway, so yeah. Okay, well, that tastes more like the real deal. Tastes like rum, it's a good bite. A little bit of general sweetness. A bit harsh. Well, not harsh. Good, um, good whack of burn around the edges, but not searing down the throat. Now that second one that's come off, I said it's a little bit further into the run. It's, it's smoother. And again, that could be from that, now that initial first mouthful. Mm, yeah, much smoother on the second tasting. But. With nice smooth softness. Not a real big nose on these. It's a bit caramelly. Which, is, yeah, the sugar and molasses has to be expected. Mm. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty bloody. It's pretty tasty. I tell you. Uh. Not a lot of. There's not a lot of burn. So the initial burn I hit on that one, but as it's, you know, as the mouse adjusted, it's not bad. It's smooth. 
that third one at the moment is probably nicest sipping on it. Okay, this fourth gentleman, this is this is well, I remember it was it was right in like in the, right in the heads, even getting to the point where you're sort of probably not possibly even looking in and getting into the hearts it was coming off that was sixty two percent. So it was starting to drop off. Mm. I do I do remember that jar on the day. That was very smooth and it's still very smooth. really nice. Smooth. It's clean, it's tasty. There's enough there's enough burn there. You know you you know you're drinking a straight spirit but it's not ripping into you. It's not burning all the way down. So really they're probably all done They're all very similar. Um, one really what I say is that they've got they just get a little bit smoother. Each one's just getting a bit smoother as you work down towards this one, the fork, which is as I said was really smack into the hearts. These even these end too. Um, so they're at the point where you were about a litre into the run, so yeah. 35% of the actual um, offtake, 30% somewhere around there. Um, I'm pulling hearts out of the middle, um, smooth and clean. And so I think mixing, taking on to that, the other stuff, and even bringing, bringing some more of this in um, with a little bit more note on it, it's certainly going to work. Um, that fourth jar there certainly falls more into that red rum sort of character which is a bit smoother um, we're pushing back this way more towards the start it's definitely got a more traditional um, edgier sort of a flavour but speaking of tradition let's put some coke on them it's a bit messy but I had no coke actually cold I bloody been playing around changing frig fridges around and didn't have any coke in the fridge cold so why some of them yeah that's going down really nice Straight away, so the first one definitely not for drinking on its own. The second one's really nice with the coat, the third one's almost too smooth. Yeah, and then that fourth jar is too smooth for drinking on coke. Without a doubt, <laughs> if you're making rum with essences, you're wasting your time. You're not getting, you're not getting rum. You're getting a sweet rum flavoured type of spirit. I mean, and even with those essences that they've been run on, the molasses wash. Um, I, mean, I was going to run some essences 
into some of the neutral spirit that I've done to see what sort of difference that makes. But after tasting this and tasting the essences yesterday, I'm not going to waste any more any more spirit with essences. It's not happening. Um, right now, I was the Mitch mixing mixing these three jars. Um, as they are with these with these chips. That is a very, very comparable to a commercial. Um, yeah, that you're gonna go and have any pub or any yeah, any 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 club or any pub. Um, If I was drinking, going to be drinking straight that last jar, so I'd be certainly looking into that, into that range. Where it's a bit smoother, but even this second one, so. Um, but for me, it certainly shows that the, the lower end of the um, power and temperature range is more where you want to be. These are both quite drinkable straight. Um, and they're very nice, um, but still got enough enough warmth, enough edge to come through with some coke. So I said, if you go back and watch the uh, watch the cut video, I'm pretty sure it's got the temperatures there um, that they were coming at. Um, but yeah, I'm actually young, yeah, really. So overall, I'm really, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. Um, so molasses run through the pot, producing really good quality. I said this is only a couple of weeks old. Uh, I've no doubt if you were to age this for, you know, for a bit longer, give it time to develop. Um, it would be even better, uh, and that's probably what I'll do with some of this. I'll probably um, mix half of this into into a jar and put some chips back on it. Let it sit for a bit longer and keep the other other half for drinking. So and then we can see how I can see how that goes down the track. But um, yeah, uh, that's my that's a, the bottle. The overproof was on the used bourbon barrels, it was quite nice as well. I think these are probably just a tad more authentic, but again, that, that other bottle is overproof um, and, is, and, and, and was still very nice. So, but the overlying thing is if you can in any way avoid using the essences particularly for rum, do so, because uh, you're getting a inferior result. Um, and I get there's going to be plenty of people who enjoy what they're making, I'm not saying you can't drink it, um, but I was yesterday was drinkable, but comparing that, Which is rum, it's caramel, it's got molasses, it's got some burnt edge compared to the essence yesterday, which was just sweet sugar. Yeah, this is where I want to be going. Anyway, that's me. That's the rum, the nine rum experiment. As always, if you've got any questions, you want to clarify anything, you know. Um, Ask away, stick it down the bottom. If you haven't subscribed to Little John, hit the, hit the subscribe button down there in the corner. You know, join us. We do we do whiskey, we do rum, we do we do beer. There's always something going on. We're playing around, we're trying things. But um, at the moment, that's me. I'm uh, about to go and join my wife on the rug in the backyard in the sun. It's a beautiful. 
all the day here in the uh, Central West, in the old Cherry Capital. So, till I see us again, buttons up.